Hey teachers, this week I've got a quick and easy Google Slides tip to share with you that is incredibly useful if you use interactive Google Slides with your students. I'm going to show you how your students can interact and edit Google Slides in present mode. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna jump straight on my computer and I have got some of my digital math centers pulled up. Now I have digital math centers in my store for most upper elementary math standards and they have all kinds of drag and drop, typing, drawing activities that students can use to review math skills. These are great to use throughout a unit for some tech practice. They're also great to use for end of the year state testing practice as a way to practice for those TEI items. But what I want to show you is that when I view this in present mode, so like as a slideshow, you can see that it's a great way for the students to view this without all the extra stuff and distractions around. The problem is they can't interact with any of the content. You can see that anytime I click, it just goes to the next slide. So they can't drag and drop, they cannot type. Now, using some of the new tools that Google has implemented into Google Slides, you can now kind of have a workaround for this so it's like students are viewing it in present mode and still able to interact with it. And let me show you what some of those new tools are. If you go up here to view in the top, you can click to get rid of the show speaker notes so you can see it got rid of this bar down here at the bottom and this suddenly became much bigger. You can also get rid of the strip that previews the other upcoming slides by clicking on get rid of show film strip. So now you can see you have a lot less distractions here. Now you can decide whether you wanna keep this toolbar up here. Maybe you have some activities where students will actually need to use that toolbar, you might wanna keep it. But if you wanna get rid of that toolbar as well, you can click on view and then click on full screen. And the cool thing about this is students can now just start dragging and dropping what's on the slide. If I go to another slide, they can begin typing as well. So any type of interactives that you have on the slides, students can use without all those extra distractions around. Now, anytime you want to bring back the toolbar, just click on escape on your keyboard and you'll see that it comes back straight away. But I love these options because it really allows you to customize what the students see. So if you wanna get rid of distractions, you can. If you want students to be able to see certain things but not other things, you can do that as well. One thing that I love about the updates being made to Google Apps is it seems like Google is really listening to the needs and wants of teachers. I know for the past couple years, myself and other teachers, many, many other teachers have complained. Present mode is really great because there's less distractions for students, but they can't interact with the content at all. So this is a great workaround for that. And it has so many other practical uses aside from just digital centers. You can use it with your digital notebooks or really anything where your students are reading a lot of content and you don't want them distracted by a bunch of other stuff on the screen, any type of assessment, drag and drop activity. This is such a helpful tool that you can use. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you wouldn't mind just taking a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. We release new videos here on the channel every Sunday with all kinds of tech tips, teaching ideas, classroom management ideas for teachers, and we're able to produce that content for free every single week because you guys take the time to like the videos and subscribe to the channels. So thank you so much for doing that, and until next time, happy teaching.